So we've got some presentation stuff to show you. I want everybody to watch real close when Alex telling you these things, okay? And at the end, if you have any questions, you can ask us some questions, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Pay attention to Officer Ali. So, whenever you get to any railway crossing, before you get to any trains, you're gonna see crisscross, okay? If you ever get to crisscross, I want you to do three things for me. I want you to learn these three words. Repeat after me. Look. Look. Listen. Listen. And live. Live. Okay? So, you're gonna look left, you're gonna look right, to make sure there's no trains coming, okay? Second thing we're gonna do after look is listen. So we're gonna listen for a train. Because sometimes when the trains are moving, they don't make any noise. They're very silent. They don't make noise sometimes. We want you to listen for the train. And then after that, you can cross safely. One thing we don't ever do, we don't ever walk on the train tracks like my friend here in the picture is doing. Okay? He's actually running on it. Yes, because it might be a train behind you or in front of you, yes. So you don't ever, ever go on the train tracks because of the trains. Trains are very sensitive. Anything small on the train can make the train flip over and have an accident. So we don't ever do anything on the train track like this. Even though they're going really slow sometimes, it takes a lot of energy to stop a train. They don't stop like a car or like a bicycle or like walking. It's just like hitting a pop can. I've talked to train crews after they've run into a car or a truck. They didn't feel the impact. I was getting ready to start my career in the military. We went up to celebrate to party and when I go to reach over and rip the blankets off me, I realized that there was no arm there. There was dumb, not put that on. I started feeling around and couldn't feel my arm. I started freaking out and it felt more sad than angry. Days I wake up and I'm just pissed off that you know, can't join the military anymore. I like to share my story, you know, just like to um, help people out. I also like to share my story because there's also, you know, younger kids out there that like to hang around the tracks and you know they think they're invincible and everything like that. You know, I would like to try and prevent that from happening to anybody else because I know how it feels to be in that situation and it sucks a lot.